So this is again 356XS which is 56mm and this is again 354 Immersion 2 which is 54mm. So both these cubes have a 2mm difference, the axis being the larger and it's a small difference you guys can notice but it might not sound that or look that um, big but when you cube you can actually feel that whole difference. Looking at the pieces, the GAN XS H piece looks to be way bigger than the GAN 354 Motion 2 H piece while the corner piece, um, yes, corner piece also, I think so the GAN XS is bigger. So if the GAN 356 XS have um, larger pieces than the GAN 354 Motion 2, then that also means that the GAN 354 Immersion 2 will have a smaller core than the GAN 356 axis. Now according to science, if there's a larger surface area, it takes more time to do one move. And if it has a smaller surface area, it takes lesser time to do one move. So you can tell that um, if it takes lesser time to do one move, then the GAN 354 Immersion 2, which is 54mm, will be faster than the bigger cubes. So coming to the main point, does the size of the cube affect your solves? So after talking about all these theories and stuffs, the smaller cube takes lesser time to do one move, while the bigger cube takes more time to do one move. I do think that smaller cubes are faster than the bigger cubes. So actually speaking, it's actually a trade between speed and stability. So you can tell that the bigger cubes are more stable than the smaller cubes. So if I had to choose uh, the 56mm cube or the 54mm cube, I would um, go with the 56mm because it's more on the stable side and also that I like stable cubes and I look for cubes which are stable but not too fast. So moving on to the final test, I will be doing an average of 3 on both these cubes. So now let's talk about the results. The GAN axis I got an average of 3 of 14.98 while on the GAN 354 Immersion 2 I got an uh, average of 3 of 17.89. So the main difficulty I experienced with the GAN 354 Immersion 2 is stability issues. You might have seen in the video in the clips that there were too many lockups while well, GAN axis was doing perfectly fine. So guys that's gonna be it for this week's video I really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please leave a thumbs up share and subscribe I'll see you guys next time bye